Hello and welcome back to Technic Tutorials, your one-stop guide to learn and detect pack. I am Gary and Reaver. This time I'm showing you something from Thalmcraft. This is the Thalmic Infuser, and for this you'll need four iron ingots, three smooth stone, and a stone slab, and it has to be a proper stone slab from vanilla, and a V crystal. And you place them like that, it can be any V crystal, and it creates a Thalmic Infuser and place this directly next to your crucible and it is this very interesting block with a very unusual design I don't know how they managed to get the design on a 16-bit block but when you right click it it brings this up and it shows the design again these are input slots so you can have up to six things to infuse together and this is the output slot where the infused item will appear. This is another output slot where if you use a V-crystal in your recipe, it has a chance of creating a depleted crystal, which is dropped out there. This is the progress bar, and this shows how sped up the uh, infusing process is by booster seals. And finally, this shows any upgrades that are on the infuser, but I'll come to them later. Although most things involved in infusing are specific recipes for things that are in their own right, there are a few basic recipes. So if you take any ordinary block of wood and a V-crystal, progress goes up. It's a very quick process. It's created a deplete depleted crystal and a single block of wood will create four enchanted wood. If you use great wood log, it creates five instead, so it's more efficient to use great wood for creating enchanted wood. And finally there is silver wood logs, which create something different. But as I put a lever here, and it's applying a redstone circuit onto the infuser, place something on the infuser, you shift and click. It's stopping the infusing, so if I turn that off, that's the thing it shows when it's doing it, and there it's created a single enchanted silver wood, and that's used for other recipes. The reason the infuser has to be touching the crucible is it uses the raw V, as you can see the level has gone down. And although there are ways to transfer V without it having to be directly touching, I'll be showing those in later videos. To remove a Thalmic confuser, you just use a pickaxe. However, it will not show progress of the destruction, so you just have to keep hitting it until it breaks off. And then you can just replace it. Thank you for watching. If you have any requests, please comment or send me a YouTube mail and I shall endeavour to take a crack at them. Bye bye.